Okay, so today we're going to uh, use IKVM uh, to create a DLL file out of this uh, Java project. So what we will do is uh, we're going to create an instance of this class in um, uh, ASP.NET. Okay, so uh, let us uh, look into the java program first okay so as you can see here i have a uh, class called java mysql to dll okay so we have the following uh, variables or fields okay and then i have here my main okay my main method and then we have the following constructors okay we have the constructor without any parameter constructor with one parameter and then we have a constructor with uh, three parameters so uh, if you create if you create an instance of this class calling this constructor allows you to connect to your database okay using the uh, given username and password okay but if you call this constructor you need to specify a database file okay and this one a constructor with three variables you need to specify the database username and password okay and then we have here a method that allows our java program to select a database table and then store all of those values in the given variables and then display the result using table rec okay so as you can see here table rec is a is a global field or global variable okay and then we have insert data method okay you need to uh, you need to have uh, you need to assign four uh, values okay for the parameters and then this will insert all of them uh, to the students table okay so what I will do now is to compile this one okay right click build okay and then I'm going to copy this one okay so this is the project folder I will copy this to my uh, Windows virtual machine okay so this is my Windows virtual machine shared folder let me just delete first the folder that I have copied recently okay paste the new uh, project folder this one okay going to windows as you can see we have the project folder so let us now compile uh, the jar file found here okay uh, so that it will be converted to dll okay so to do that uh, I need to go to the path where the IKVM okay compiler is uh, stored so this is the IKVM compiler okay going to the path and running IKVM C compiler followed by a parameter hyphen target colon library space followed by another parameter we have the projects jar file this one okay so you need to input this space okay the mysql java connector okay because uh, the java program will be accessing 
uh, MySQL and we will need a connector okay so we need to include this one okay and then press enter okay so the resulting file is java mysql dll okay we're now going to use this <coughs> in our uh, visual studio project okay so uh, to install visual studio project okay uh, i will give you this link i will just post this in the uh, description of this video okay so let's go back here okay so since i have already installed visual studio okay i will create a new project okay using the dll we just created okay so windows form okay so we have so we need uh, we need our toolbox okay so we're going to add a button okay so uh, by clicking this if you double click this button okay it will create a method for you so this is by the way c sharp okay so we need to add the namespace okay of the of this dll file so the dll file by the way is found here okay this is the this is the dll okay that we need to create or include here okay so since this is uh, c sharp we're going to be uh, using okay the problem with this is java mysql to dll java mysql it's not yet uh, available so you still can't use this library okay so to be able to include this library in our visual studio project okay we need to add reference okay in so you will see here browse and then we need to add that library okay which is this one okay and we also need to include okay another library for open jdk this one ikvm open jda core okay using the following dll files you can now use java mysql to dll okay which is the entire java class okay called java mysql to dll okay so let us now create an instance of this class since we already included it as part of our library okay so let's do that here java mysql to dll assigning it to this variable new java mysql to dll calling the uh, constructor without any parameter which is this one okay so we're calling this constructor but if you wish to call the constructor with a, with a parameter okay like this for example okay we can add something like input boxes so we have a text box okay so since we have we need to input the database name username and password okay we need to have three text box
okay okay let me just put some label okay we have database this one is username and then this one is password okay okay so uh, by clicking this button as you can see we're creating an instance of the entire java class called java mysql to dll okay we can now use a okay as you can see we can now call the insert data class insert data method okay we can call the insert data method which is this one okay we can also call this method get data okay this one okay and we can call this constructor okay by uh, including three values or uh, parameters okay so in this case i will be using uh, this one is called okay this one is called uh, text box one okay and this one is text box 2 as you can see here okay so i will simply input text box 1 that that text okay so this is the database name okay which is associated with this variable okay we have text box 2 okay this is the username associated with this variable and then we have text box 3 okay and then we have the password okay so we're going to call this constructor assigning the following values to database username and password okay so next we're going to call this method because we're going to insert the data okay insert data okay so as you can see insert data requires four parameters or values okay so given the following one two three four okay so we have name okay so this is name okay we have section okay we have gender okay and lastly address okay okay so we have the form and if you click the button it will perform the following okay using the uh, the java dll we just created okay so let me show you my mysql where all of this data will be inserted okay let me delete first the table okay okay so let's run the program input the database 
username okay submit or perform the insert data okay as you can see if i go to my sql perform a select query it will be inserted okay the following data is because i hard i hard coded it here okay so if i type for example a wrong username it will not be inserted okay wrong password it will not be inserted correct username and password it will be inserted okay wrong database name it will not be inserted okay so that is how you can use your java class convert it to dll and create an instance of it in visual studio okay so that's it for now